Hey guys, it's John at Three Bells Outfitters. Hey, it's uh, captain's meeting time. It's tournament day. Uh, I'm going to go through a couple things uh, through here for questions that people have, and they've been asking us about Tourney X and how the leaderboard's going to look and that sort of thing. So uh, first off, I know we talked about this at the last uh, video, but uh, your tape measure is going to be in your captain's bag. So um, it goes out to 54 inches. It's got to be unbroken in the middle. You can't have it broken. You can't put it on your paddle shaft and then cut it. You can leave it on the paddle shaft if you want to use it on your paddle, but you got to keep your paddle assembled for the duration of the tournament. That way it's an unbroken tape. Um, and uh, it's just got to be on a flat, rigid surface and be visible to our judges uh, when you go to submit your fish. Uh, so that's the first thing. This is in your captain's bag. We'll go through the contents of the captain's bag as well here in a minute. Uh, the next thing, Tourney X. Um, I think we have everyone registered at this point. If you haven't registered for any reason, um, or if you're trying to get on there and do something or download the app again, here's the link again for you. So hop on there, uh, download the app if you need that for your smartphone. Uh, the way the tournament's laid out, so it's going to start 5.30 on Friday, uh, just like it did last year. It's going to go through noon on Sunday, and it's a continual tournament. So there's just one leaderboard that carries through to the end. Um, and so as you submit your live wells with your fish, um, it should auto call your biggest fish per species. You're limited to three fish total, one per species. Okay, so when you go to look at your leaderboard, it's going to sh it should show your biggest fluke, your biggest striper, your biggest blue, and your overall uh, accumulated measurement across the three species. Um, anything that you submit um, and it calls into that position uh, will be determined by the judges, and it will either be verified or it will show as unverified if the judges need to look at it. Um, if for any reason they need to get in touch with you, they have the means to do that with your contact information on Tourney X. Uh, so just be aware of that. You may get uh, contacted by the judge regarding dimensions, that sort of thing, but, um, uh, but be aware of that. Um, it also, it's very time sensitive. You've got to get everything submitted before noon on Sunday um, to make sure that the judges can verify your dimensions and all that stuff. You don't want them kicking a fish out. Um, because there's, there's something hokey going on with the, the picture you submit, right? So make sure that you uh, get all that submitted before noon. Make sure you get to an area that has cell phone reception to send it out before noon and make sure it makes it into uh, your submissions and, and, and calls the fish. Um, so those are huge. Now, Tourney X does give, and i got to point this out, it gives GPS locations of where you catch your fish. It is time sensitive. It, it notifies of time and that sort of thing. So. Um, so make sure you're in Connecticut waters, which is the parameters of this tournament, right? you got to stay within Connecticut waters. Um, we mentioned before noon on Sunday. Um, those are the biggest things. Uh, if you do have any questions, you can contact the judges. Uh, they can contact you. Uh, our judges for this year are the fishing team. Um, they will get a second and third opinion if they need to when they're verifying. Um, that way it's a committee-based ruling and we're not doing any appeals or anything like that for the tournament because it's a committee-based ruling. Um, so the next thing we're going to cover is your captain's bags and the contents in there and the process on how to pick them up uh, on Friday. Okay, so captain's bags. Everybody's asking about the captain's bags. We're going to go through the contents real quick on where stuff is. One thing's really important. And um, so I've got a couple of them here. Uh, here's one. This is uh, Yak Gear. You're getting a CWS bag as your captain's bag this year. So this is the Yak Gear one. Um, and this is the Railblazer. So they're either going to be orange or red. And um, uh, so Railblazer, uh, Yak Gear submitted the bags to us this year. This was their sponsorship as they provided a bag for every angler. So big thanks to them. And after doing that, let's pop this thing open and look at what's inside. So inside you have got, let's pull this out for one second. You've got your t-shirt, which I'm wearing right here. And you probably saw the logo. That's the logo. It's got the sponsors on the back. So your t-shirt's in there. Uh, when you come up, and we're going to cover the procedure on how to get your bag and make sure you got the right uh, t-shirt size in just one second. Uh, but you also have your towel is in there, all right? And this is really important. If you're hungry and you're looking for a place to eat uh, during the tournament, here is your 10% discount 
card for the uh, the Parthenon in Old Saybrook, uh, and it's good for the whole weekend. So if you're looking for a place to eat, make sure you swing by there, show them this, and you can get 10% off your meals. Uh, we got uh, Al Gag Lures in there, so uh, Al, thanks a lot for uh, supplying us with those. Just dropped it. There we go. Uh, then the next thing, this is really important. This is your ID badge for the uh, the tournament, and your uh, Tournament ID is when you get that from Tourney X, you'll see it's, a, it's a, typically a four character ID, I want to say. Uh, write that in with a Sharpie right here. There's a, there's a box right here. Just write that in because you're going to want to submit that with your picture of your fish. Right? Similar to what you did last year, but this is a secondary measure to ID who you are uh, in the event there's some kind of glitch or anything. Um, we have a second way of knowing which fish and which angler this belongs to, uh, which, which picture. But, which fish and picture belongs to which angler. You, you guys get what I'm saying. So you've got that. Um, you got a signal whistle in there. And um, last but not least, um, this is really important. So you got a dogs and boats beer koozie. Okay. And it's from the folks at Beard. They provided uh, beer koozies for all the, the fishermen. So uh, these are pretty nice. Dogs and boats is probably one of the best beers that they put out, in my opinion. I love dogs and boats. But inside your beer koozie is your measuring tape. Okay, so it's in there. Make sure it's, it's, it's very neatly rolled, all right? Don't put any folds in this thing, but your tape is inside your koozie. Um, so make sure that you get this out before you use this thing, all right? Because you don't want to mash up your measuring tape. That's your standard for the tournament. So it's going to be inside the koozie, inside your captain's bag, okay? So that's your captain's bag. Uh, you can use this thing on the water. It's nice. You can leave stuff in here. You can wash stuff out in them. They're really handy. Uh, shirts inside as well, um, and we have your shirt sizes, so make sure that your shirt size matches what you have on your registration when you come up and do the registration. Now, for picking up your captain's bags here at Three Bells, uh, we're going to have the Hobie canopy tent out, and we'll have all the captain's bags. And when you come up, you got to have that waiver signed, you got to turn that thing in, um, and we will uh, check off your last name and make sure you have the right shirt size. And if we get your waiver and you get your bag, you're good to go. We need to have the waiver for you to continue into the tournament, okay? So we'll have the Hobie canopy out and we'll have it set up. Um, as of right now, we can probably do captain's bag pickups as early as noon. So if you have some guys that are already in town coming in or if you're local, you can come as early as noon and we have everything ready. We did all the captain's bags last night, so you should be good to go there. Um, so that's the procedure. Uh, we can do it as early as noon on Friday now. If you want to get here a little earlier, that gives you a little more time and you can get your bag earlier, get on the water faster, uh, and get, I should say, get set up on the water faster. Tournament still kicks on at 5.30. Um, and you need to turn in your waiver and we'll get your last name and your shirt size checked off when you pick up your bag. And you're good to go there, okay? Um, so uh, circle back, got your contents. The most important things in here is your badge. Make sure you put your tournament identifier on here with a Sharpie or something uh, once it kicks on on Tourney X. And your measuring tape is inside your beer koozie. Okay? So make sure you have all that ready uh, before the tournament starts. And uh, next thing we'll go over is the raffle. Everyone's asking about the raffle. So we'll go over the raffle next. But not least the raffle so we've covered the rules uh, a, a overview of the rules uh, check the written rules as well there's a lot more detail in there that's just what I gave is just a light overview um, one other thing make sure that you check in to tourney X when you check into this tournament make sure you actually check in and you got to check out at noon on Sunday as well so make sure you check in and check out the tournament's going to run continual because I know a bunch of you like the night fish and that sort of thing uh, but make sure you check in and check out on the tournament Okay, um, so last but not least, the raffle. So uh, for those of you that did the early bird registration, uh, we had on the, I believe the trade shows and stuff that we were doing a bonus raffle for people uh, that are in the early bird registration, and you guys got tickets for that, an extra number of tickets. Um, that's a separate raffle for Three Bell Swag. So you'd be getting, uh, we got new hoodies getting made up, we're getting the leather embossed hats. Uh, you see some other companies that do them, kind of like St. Croix hats that they like to do. We got some Three Bells hats coming uh, with the fish hook logo on them. And um, we've also got some shirts coming. So you guys are going to get a swag packet. Uh, so if you win, we'll contact you. We have your shirt size because of your registration, so we'll contact you uh, if you win that. 
Uh, the other raffle, we got a lot of prizes this year. Even though it's a COVID year and a lot of companies are struggling, a lot of people pulled through uh, to support this tournament. And so the brands that you see coming through, uh, they've gone out of their way to uh, push this tournament and make sure that it's, it's going year to year, even with COVID and having to do stuff via uh, social media and the internet. Uh, these guys have come through. So as you see that raffle stuff coming through, I'm posting pictures of some stuff right now and some new prizes and some uh, some local people that have supported us in the past. Um, so hop on Facebook, take a look at those. Uh, but then uh, the raffle, I'm seeing a bunch of you guys buying tickets online. Hop on the Three Bells Outfitters website and get your raffle tickets in. Uh, when's our cutoff for that? 5.30. 5.30 on Friday. So no, it's a, Saturday. Or 5.30 Saturday. 5.30 Saturday. 530 Saturday is our cutoff for uh, the raffle so you have through 5 30 on saturday but don't waste time make sure you get them in now um, and make sure you get everything uh up and going uh we're we're putting people's names on tickets right now um, so we've got a bag of tickets with a lot of names on here so we're going through today we're putting names on while you guys are on the water if there's anybody else purchasing raffle tickets friday and saturday we'll be doing the same thing uh, but there's a lot of prizes coming through a lot of really cool stuff um, some new stuff this year and um we have 30 Mile a Brewery that is sponsoring us with one of their uh, tanker deals that you can do a, a fill up on and that they're over in Old Saybrook, really cool place. Um, and we've got a bunch of other local dealers that, and uh, restaurants and businesses who have given us gift certificates. Uh, there's some gift certificates in there from Torquedo. Uh, so if you guys ever wanted a Torquedo on your kayak, uh, you can win it at the raffle. And so, uh, so that's coming. We've got uh, Live Wells from Hobie on there. We've got uh, I think some uh, some extra accessories. We have accessory packets, lure packets, um, all kinds of stuff. Uh, books from John Skinner. John uh, John sent us a bunch of his uh, books, and uh, actually flipped through those. Those are really cool. Um, so yeah, we've got those for the raffle. So make sure you get your name on on uh, some tickets in there, and hop on the website and uh, and increase your chances for winning. Right. So. Um, going towards a good cause. It's going towards our uh, our donation for Save the River, Save the Hills, which is the 501c3 nonprofit that we donate to every year that helps preserve uh, the Niantic River in the Oswegatchie Hills area and make sure that we have a, a place here on the water uh, for years to come. So um, yeah, make sure you get into that. Um, if you have any questions on the rules of the raffle, give us a call. Uh, raffle is going to actually start at 1.30 on, on Sunday. I'm sorry, 1.30 on Sunday is when we're going to actually start the raffle. So you've got till from now until 5.30 on Saturday evening to buy your tickets, and then we'll start the raffle on Sunday at 1.30, and by that time we should have all the submissions done, all the judging done, if there's anything that the judges need to verify or anything of that nature, all that should be done. Uh, make sure you get your submissions in before noon on Sunday for your fish, and that way uh, we can find out who our species winners are, and. Uh, for both adults and the juniors, we have uh, we have uh, junior winners as well, and so we want to see uh, who's going to win on the junior level too with the uh, the trifecta. So, um, so definitely get in touch with us if you have any questions. Contact our judges if you have any questions. They can contact you if they have any questions as well uh, regarding your submissions. But make sure you get your fish submitted. Sitting having them sitting in the live well is not a submission. All right, that's a holding place. You have to submit your fish. Make sure you get to a place with reception to do that, and. Um, yeah, if we draw your name for uh, one of the raffles, congratulations, and uh, we'll be doing that via Facebook Live. Okay, so uh, uh, once you win, we'll contact you and get in touch base with you on how to get your prize uh, to you. If you're the grand prize winner, we'll definitely get in touch with you because you got a big thing to take home, uh, and we got to figure out how to get that to your house, right? So, um, so yeah, give us a give us a ring if you need anything. Uh, shoot us an email, um, and make sure that you. Uh, uh, sign in and sign out on Tourney X uh, when the tournament begins and ends. All right, gentlemen, look forward to all you ladies and gents uh, on the water there. We're going to be going around on a boat taking pictures, hopefully get some media of uh, this year's tournament, and uh, we can't wait to see what you guys send in. Good luck to everybody.